Hello Salesforce Ohana, Walters954 here. In this video, I'm going to be going over the Admin Certification Maintenance Spring 20 hands-on. This will be working with a really cool new feature, Permission Set Groups. If your permission sets have gotten a little out of hand with having too many or very specific ones for certain types of role, Permission Set Groups will really help streamline that whole process and group all of your permission sets together. If this video is helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. It definitely lets me know that you all like this content and I'll continue to make more of it. Make sure to stick around to the end. There's going to be a huge announcement around the certification maintenance schedule and I'll be going over that. All right, so let's jump into permission set groups. Basically what this does, it, it will group together different permission sets that you have into one group that you can assign to multiple people. So how many of us have created very ultra specific permission sets for sales operation or sales staff users or different sections of users that still fall under a specific profile umbrella but need to have their role or their specific tasks actually broken down for a subset of users? It can get very tedious to remember to assign these three permission sets to this type of person, especially when a new person comes in, or to remove that permission when somebody changes a role. This is where permission set groups come in. They really help you group together your permission sets. And using a permission set group, you can bundle all of those permission sets together and assign them to a specific user without having to click through all of them one by one. So it's really reusable and very helpful when you have multiple different users that maybe have the same role. So let's take a look at this in action. So I'm gonna jump into my org and let's go into the setup. I'm going to create some permission sets. I have some permission sets already created here. One is for marketing users, so they have access to campaigns. And the other one I have in here is giving access to manage flows and also giving access so that your password never expires. This type of permission set is something that you would kind of give to maybe an API user or an admin user, and maybe we just have some type of power marketing user that we uh, want to give both of these permissions to. Maybe we'll call them a marketing admin or something like that. Let's double check that our password permission is in here. And it's not, so let's add that in very quickly. All right, let's create our permission set group. Let's call this marketing admin now we'll go into select our different permission sets so here's the flow and password and here's the marketing one very cool now we've grouped those two permissions together so we can assign it just like normal to any of our users And this is great, but let's say that we didn't want them to have some permission that exists in all of those permission sets. We can actually mute or stop a specific permission that we have inside of our permission set group. So let's go ahead and add new. We're creating a mute permission set. Click into that. And let's say that we don't actually want to give them the password ability. So we can see here that uh, in this column it's checked for enable and in this new column that is created we can actually mute it. Here it is, so I'm going to mute that permission. And 
And there you have it. Whoever gets this permission set group will have access to all of the marketing objects along with flows, but we also added a mute so that their password will expire at a certain date, even though the flow and password permission had that. The mute is a really easy way of taking away specific permissions so that you don't have to create ultra specific permission sets to remove that access. All right, you should have more than enough knowledge to complete the assessment that's in here. The last thing I wanna go over is the changes to the certification maintenance schedule. Salesforce is now having year long certification maintenance module periods. So for example, this administrator certification, it came out in April of 2020 and it is not due until April of 2021. The same thing is happening for the other release cycles. So for summer and winter, specific maintenance modules are going to be available and they're going to be due a year later. So it's giving a longer period of time for us to complete the maintenance modules. This is something for you to be aware of. Definitely check the description down below where there'll be a link to this page where you can see when all of the different certification maintenance modules are going to be out. That's all I've got for you today. Make sure to like and subscribe if this is helpful for you. Leave a comment down below on what you think about the maintenance schedules changing. I personally like to have a maintenance module per release cycle. Definitely keeps you a bit fresh on your Salesforce skills. So let me know what you think down below. I'm Walters954, and remember, I believe in you.